Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's discuss the pathological calcification. Pathological calcification is of two types, dystrophic calcification and metastatic calcification. Before proceeding towards the type, I would like to explain your uh, definition of pathological calcification. Pathological calcification kya cheez hoti hai? It is abnormal deposition of calcium salts together with smaller amount of iron, magnesium and other minerals. जब भी हमारे पास बॉडी के अंदर एबनॉर्मल डिपोजिशन होगी कैल्शियम सॉल्ट्स की साथ में हमारे पास आयरन मैग्नीशियम और दूसरे मिनरल्स भी डिपॉजिट होंगे तो इसको कहा जाता है पैथोलॉजिक कैल्सिफिकेशन कैल्सिफिकेशन इज फॉर कैल्शियम डिपोजिशन पैथोलॉजिक का मतलब है एबनॉर्मल एबनॉर्मल डिपोजिशन ऑफ कैल्शियम इज कॉल्ड पैथोलॉजिक कैल्सिफिकेशन अब डिस्ट्रॉफिक क्या है और मेटास्टैटिक क्या है डिस्ट्रॉफिक में डिपोजिशन ऑकर इन डेड और डाइंग सेल डेड सेल्स के अंदर है डाइंग टिश्यूज के अंदर है ये डिस्ट्रॉफिक होगा इन द एबसेंस ऑफ डिरेंजमेंट इन कैल्शियम मेटाबॉलिज्म कैल्शियम मेटाबॉलिज्म में कोई भी डिरेंजमेंट नहीं होती एबसेंट होती मेटास्टैटिक क्या होगा अगर डिस्ट्रॉफिक डेड जो डाइंग टिश्यूज के अंदर है तो मेटास्टैटिक वुड बी ऑब्वियसली नॉर्मल टिश्यूज एंड इट विल अकर ऑलमोस्ट सेकेंडरी टू सम डिरेंजमेंट इन कैल्शियम मेटाबॉलिज्म नॉर्मल कैल्शियम लेवल इज बिटवीन नाइन एंड अलेवन मिलीग्राम पर डेसीटर अगर इससे ज्यादा होगा सो देर वुड भी हाइपर कैल्सीमिया अगर कम होगा तो हाइपर कैल्सीमिया होगा Calcium is present either free form or bound form. Free calcium form is the active form that is ionized calcium and it is hypercalcemia or hypocalcemia whereas bound complex form of calcium can be organic or inorganic. Let's talk about the causes of dystrophic calcification and then we will discuss the causes of metastatic calcification. Dystrophic calcification include the first cause that is atherinoma. By atherinoma for example atherosclerosis there is lipid deposition and gelatinous deposition ultimately leading to atheromatous block that is calcium deposition degenerative disease for example alzheimer disease malignancy for example in the case of tumor there is ineffective phagocytosis so the calcium can't be removed from the cell there is excessive accumulation of calcium inside the cell leading to dystrophic calcification fourth causes inflammatory disease for example granuloma in which there is collection of macrophages fifth one is tubercular scleroma acid phosphate bacilli is there present in the myobacterium tuberculae and it is responsible for the formation of langerhans joint cell the sixth cause of dystrophic calcification is hematoma in hematoma we know that macro macrophages have the hemosiderin pigment so when there is ineffective phagocytosis there is degeneration and degenerative changes also occur the degenerative changes will lead to the calcium deposition excessive calcium deposition abnormal deposition will definitely lead to dystrophic calcification hence it is a cause of dystrophic calcification let's talk about the causes of metastatic calcification first one is hyperparathyroidism when we talk about parathyroid gland we see we see that any hypoplasia of parathyroid gland or any adenoma of parathyroid gland or any carcinoma of parathyroid gland will lead to the increased production of parathyroid hormone this will definitely lead to hyperparathyroidism and this hyperparathyroidism means that there would be increased production of calcium too there would be derangement in the secondary structure of calcium metabolism and ultimately this is going to lead to the metastatic calcification Examples include the nephrocalcinosis. Nephrocalcinosis is a diffuse condition in which multiple layers of calcium deposition in the kidney is seen. While renal calcinosis is localized. So what's the difference between nephro and calcinosis and renal calcinosis? Nephro is diffuse while renal is localized. Common organs are gallbladder, lungs, in uterus muscle arteries all show the dystrophic calcification histological identification morphology same as that of metastatic calcification stain used is special stain that is vancosa stain and vancosa stain is a special stain for calcium deposition pathogenesis it involves the two step initiation and propagation इनिशियशन हमारे पास दो तरह की होती है इट कैन बी एक्सट्रा सेलर इट कैन बी इंट्रा सेलर एक्सट्रा सेलर में क्या चीज़ होता है देर इज मेम्ब्रेन पाउंड वेसिकल फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कैल्शियम सॉल्ट 
And vesicles have high affinity for phospholipids, so we know they are activated by the phospholipase. So basically, in situation, what is happening is that we have a vesicle that becomes calcium salt, which is covered by the membrane, and its affinity for phospholipids is very high, and activates what we have to do with the phospholipids. The symbol of the intracellular symbol is intramitochondrial deposition of calcium salt. Propagation के अंदर दो चीजें आती हैं, एक कोलेजन आता है और एक कॉस्ट्रोपोंटिन फॉर्मेशन होती है। So in the pathogenesis of dystrophic calcification, there is directly deposition of calcium and osteopontin is formed that definitely they are directly related to propagation. So as these both contribute to the pathogenesis of the dystrophic calcification. So we have discussed the initiation that was extracellular and intracellular, either vesicle formation or direct intramitochondrial deposition, or the propagation that is done by the collagen and osteopontin formation. Metastatic calcification, uh, first cause was hyperparathyroidism. Then we talked about the parathyroid gland. Another one cause is renal cause, that is renal failure. And vitamin D related disorders, that is vitamin D intoxication can also lead to metastatic calcification. Common ozone of metastatic calcification is lung, kidney, arteries and mucosa of stomach. Some are asymptomatic, other are symptomatic and pathogenesis is like of dystrophic calcification. That's all.